Well, saving money and saving the environment, both part of President Obama's auto fuel saving initiative last yeah, August. The president wants all cars and trucks to get 50 miles to the gallon in the next 10 years or so. And did you know this? That some cars already do that. 50 Mine miles. 50 wow, miles that to the is gallon. a lot. All right, you can see some of these cars this weekend in Albuquerque, the 2013 New Mexico International Auto Show. News 13's David Romero is live at the Albuquerque Convention Center with more. David, some slick looking cars behind you, son. Oh, yeah, and a lot of that new car smell all <laughs> around us, Matt. And of course, we, uh, we checked out some of the new models that are in town this weekend for the big auto show. And of course, we're going to tell you how much bang you can get for the money you spend on gas. There's nothing like getting behind the wheel, firing up the engine, and heading out on the road. But for many Americans these days, a high price at the pump might make a person reevaluate taking a spin in the car. Every manufacturer, domestic, import, Everyone has heard what the people want, and that is a fuel-efficient vehicle. Every manufacturer has been successful at achieving better fuel efficiency. A number of the cars featured at this year's auto show boast getting around 25 miles per gallon in the city. Many of the hybrids, like the Chevy Volt, can get mileage in the neighborhood of close to 50 miles per gallon. That's not too bad once you consider all the stop-and-go driving most of us encounter. Styling, uh, comfort, and fuel efficiency. And that is a great combination to achieve. And, and again, every manufacturer has done that. Aside from all the business of getting good mileage, let's not forget why we pay so much money for these cars. Sometimes it's all about speed and luxury. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the Porsche Boxster uh, S. And it's the 2013 model, and it is superb. It is a fast car, and it actually gets good mileage. We're seeing about 24 in the highway, or actually 24 in the city, for a fast car like this. You know, without a doubt, you can have a total package vehicle, whether it's in a crossover, a minivan, a Porsche, a Boxster. It doesn't matter. You can get total package these days, and, and that, that shows that the manufacturers have done such a great job in listening to the market. Hopefully keeping cash in your pocket while still having fun and style on the road. According to the president's plan, the new efficient cars will dramatically reduce our reliance on foreign oil, possibly save a total of 12 billion barrels of oil, and reduce our oil consumption by more than 2 million barrels a day. And this is all by the year 2025. A lot of good driving between now and then. Matt, back to you. Hey, Mr. Romero, just uh, out of curiosity, how many miles to the gallon does the Porsche get? When I drive it or when it's driven by somebody that, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about 26, 24 miles per gallon in the city. Which and when is you really drive good. it somewhere around 10. Yeah, if on a good day. <laughs> All right, looked like a lot of fun. Thank you, David. The auto show starts today. It goes in through Sunday. Tickets are eight bucks for adults, five for kids, seniors, and the military. A lot of fun it looks like I out know, there. I know, and the price is not too bad. Prices that is to get into the <laughs> auto show. Not from the Porsche the or the yellow to to Lotus. The that was there. By the way, Kristen drove that Lotus the other day and um, didn't get a ticket. I'm wow, impressed. very yeah. good. All right, and she didn't. Well, she <laughs> sold that one. She's okay. lying. All right, stick around on a serious note.